Hi there and welcome to today's video on what to look for in a permanent makeup trainer. This is such an important decision. It's a huge outlay of time and money and get it wrong and you will have to pay again. Hi, I'm Katie Schofield. I'm an artist and trainer here in the UK and over 90% of you watch me from elsewhere in the world. Hi. And so probably won't be training with me in person. However, I do offer online training, including one-to-one -one sessions, so we can connect wherever you are. For a start, you can join my free Facebook support group, Permanent Excellence, and there's a link in the description below. Now, I was very fortunate with my training, and I chose a great, reputable company who I'm still very good friends with. But a lot of that was down to luck, and I don't want you to have to rely on luck. So I've put together this list of what you should be looking out for, including some serious red flags when picking your permanent makeup trainer. First of all, how long has your trainer been practicing permanent makeup? Unfortunately, this is an industry where people think that they can make quick and easy money and they get into training for all the wrong reasons. Many trainers pass their own training and then start launching their own courses straight away. While permanent makeup is a long process, clients need a touch up and then to return for color boosts a year later. So if you've not seen your own work a year later, how can you possibly teach other people how to perform colour boosts? If a person's only been practising permanent makeup for a short while, then it's quite likely that they haven't practised on a variety of different skin types, including different ages, different ethnicities, and people with different skin issues. You need a trainer to be able to answer your questions when issues come up, and if they haven't got the experience, then you're on your own. Second point, make sure that your training is comprehensive. All my training covers advice on every aspect of being a successful permanent makeup artist, including marketing, social media, unbiased opinions on pigments and machines. And if your trainer withholds certain information, then they are a gatekeeper and they don't want you to succeed or at least do better than them. So that's why they're withholding information from you. A great teacher always wants their students to better them. Honestly, I want to see my students on a stage in the future teaching other people. That's why I got into this. Their success is my success. Third point, make sure that your training is going to cover enough of the practical things so that you can become successful too. Unfortunately, a huge percentage of my students are already trained, but their initial microblading training didn't cover shading. Microblading is only suitable for about 40% of clients and microblading alone really only suits people that have a good amount of brow hair for it to blend into. You're going to end up turning people away or microblading the wrong clients. Make sure that your training includes machine training or at the very least hand shading. Also, avoid courses that try and cram too much in. I see lots of five day courses for brows, lips and liner and it's just too much. You cannot learn all those competently in just a few days and you'll just end up lost and confused at the end of it. Now this one should be obvious, but don't go for the cheapest. What you're looking for in a trainer is someone with experience and knowledge and someone who offers you an amazing kit with quality items and all those things cost more. If you pay less, you generally get less. Do you want to be an average permanent makeup artist who learns all their lessons whilst making mistakes on people's faces? Or do you want to be the best? Then pick the best. Even if it takes you longer to save up for it, you will get a better outcome quicker. Next point and a very important one. What is the aftercare package like with your training? If you think that you're gonna get trained in permanent makeup and that you're gonna be really good at it and find it really easy straight away, then I'm sorry to tell you that that won't be the case. It's this point after your training that you're going to need your trainer the most. And if they don't have an aftercare package, then you're gonna be in a scary situation. You need to be able to send pictures of clients for advice on techniques and pigments and get constructive criticism on your work. All my courses come with lifetime tutor support, so students get to ask questions for as long as they need to. If you don't get their support, don't pick that course. Next point, and another important one, is make sure that you like the work of the person you're training with. They're going to be teaching you in their style. You will develop a style of your own afterwards, but it's absolutely pointless training with someone just because they're near to you, whose work that you don't particularly like. Take the time to travel to someone you do. Honestly, there is no limit to where I would go to get the training that I want. I'm even flying to America later in the year just to train with someone I want to. Also, make sure that your courses are long enough. 
and that you get time on live models and have to submit case studies. This is a tricky art to learn and it will require time and effort. It's a growing market and if you look out there, it's a race to the bottom with prices with people offering cheap brows and Groupon offers, but the cream will always rise to the top. So what do you want to be? The Groupon artist or the best? If you want to be the best, then you're going to have to invest time and money in yourself. So make sure that you get a course that is long and detailed enough. This will undoubtedly come at a higher cost than a lot of other courses, but permanent makeup isn't cheap. And if you work it out, let's say you're going to charge $400 for your brows and your training is $4,000, that's just 10 clients. You can have paid back your training in 10 clients and I see more than that in a week. So think long-term and avoid short courses with no aftercare from people who are lacking in experience and whose work you don't like, and you'll be okay. If you want to train with me either in person or online, then hit the train in person link in the description below and let's have a chat about how I can help you. If you want to see me training, then hit this video of me explaining the different needle techniques and I'll see you soon.